Hey everybody, welcome to a New Year's party. <laughs> no. uh, thought I would come on here and talk to all of you about uh, a number of, uh, you know, goal setting tips that, you know, can help you achieve what it is that you're looking to do. So, that's basically what this is about. So I'm just going to wait till uh, see if anyone wants to join in. I'm going to hang in tight. Um, so if you're watching this on a replay, I just wanted to say, you know, Happy New Year. I hope all is going well. I know that uh, the new year has uh, has literally just started. But, uh, you know, it's exciting times. You know, I, I went and did a crazy run, which I'll actually talk about in a minute. But um, yeah, so if anyone's got comments uh, and things they want to uh, talk about, just pop them in the comment uh, section there and I'll get to it. <laughs> so welcome to all of you who are, are starting to, to kind of come on in here. And um, yeah, it's exciting times, man. It's in, in Canada, in Ontario, it's crazy snow everywhere still. And, you know, I've been seeing a lot of people uh, out in the world, and there's no snow. Like in the UK, there's no snow, and I'm like, oh my gosh, that's that's. I, I could just not imagine not having snow at uh, Christmas. I mean, it's nice. It's nice. Don't get me wrong, but um, you know, now we're in the new year, uh, and uh, we're full on in winter, right? So it's it's nice and cold and all that kind of fun jazz. So um, yeah. New Year's resolutions, New Year's goals, you know, all these crazy things that are, uh, we all think about. It's like, you know, we're starting off fresh and, you know, what are we going to do um, to achieve our goals? And guys, man, there's so many things that, that happen in the new year. Like you all know, right? You sit there and you go, ah, oh, what am I going to do? What am I going to, what am I going to achieve this year? And we start putting them on a list as to, you know, I'm going to do this and I'm going to do this and I'm going to do this. And then as the year goes along, actually day two and day three and day four of the new year, what tends to happen is our motivation starts to wane and it starts to disappear. And before you know it, you've spent a lot of money on the gym and you're not going and you're locked in for a full year and it's $50 a month or $20 or whatever it is. And then you're like, this really sucks. I can't even get out of it. And I'm just wasting money because I have no motivation to go. And it, it's happened to me so many times that I just kind of gave up. I'm like, you know, I'm just not going to bother. Right. So for me, one of the things that I always look for is figuring out what my why is. Right. So I'm going to throw up a couple of, I'm going to throw up something on the screen here. Let me know if you guys can see this. Okay. Um, I'm going to add this to the screen. Now, I don't know how to make it bigger. Um, I actually don't know how to make this bigger. So I don't know. Actually, hold on. Let's see. Technology-wise, what can I do to make this bigger? Um, format. I'll make my list. Hold on. Bear with me, guys. I'm just trying to make this a little bit bigger. Um, format. Header. Headings, body. Uh, I don't know, guys. I don't know if I'm going to be able to make this bigger. Font. Ah, there we go. Font. Bold fonts. Font sizes. Ah, there we go. Now let's. Whoa. Okay, that's huge. Okay, now you guys should be able to see these. Hold on. Let's just kind of figure this stuff out. I guess that works. Hold on. Let me just kind of put a space down here, space here. I'm just kind of space them out a little bit. Um, all right. So hopefully you can see that on the screen. Okay. Let me know if you can see that on the screen. Comment. Let me know. Um, just because, again, I'm not, I can't, I don't think I can see it. So basically, here we go. Okay. I still have you guys here. <laughs> okay, so why we fail to meet our goals, right? Number one is we don't know how to sustain motivation, right? And that has been the biggest challenge that I have found is trying to figure out how to keep that motivation 
from waning, right? So my tip to help with that is to figure out why you're about to do what it is that you're going to do. Okay. That's huge, right? So figure it out, write it down. And then with that, you can then, if you're struggling to figure it, you know, to, to get out the door in the morning, cause there's a snowstorm or it's too hot or it's raining and it's windy and it's cold or, or you're tired or you just don't feel like doing it. Look back and say, Hey, I'm going to do this because I decided to write my why down and it's a big enough why that I'm going to be able to endure any of those hows, right? So how am I going to get out the door? If it's your why is big enough, then yeah, you will be able to push through, right? So anyways, oh, hey, Eric, <laughs> you're taking down the tree. Look at that. Okay, got to run, taking down the tree. Yeah, I know what that is all about. It's it's crazy. Um, Conrad says, fonts are fine. Very cool. Thanks, man. So, so yeah, I mean, my thing this year was to like, let's just take it to a next level, right? So what is my why, right? What is my why, what it's going to get me out the door? That will be number one is to, to push you through and keep that you know, sustained motivation, right? So the other thing, the other thing that people fail at, right, is they have the desire um, they have the desire, but not the tools, right? The mindset, the energy, the know-how, the support uh, to create the change. And that's true for a lot of runners, right? Because we go, hey, I'm just going to go at it and I'm just going to run out the door, right? And when we run out the door, what are we doing, right? We, we set ourselves up for failure, for injury, right? Um, to create a negative experience. And then what happens is, is we don't continue. We're like, oh, that sucked. I'm not going to go. I'm not going to get out this morning, right? And that that's terrible. That's not a, a good way to look at it. So I, I always say to myself, let's stop for a minute and let's figure this stuff out. Let's write it down. Why am I doing this, right? And number two is what do I need to do to be successful to make sure that I can stay on track? So let's use Maffetone training for, for instance, right? So Maffetone training, Basically, um, for me, I need to like run at my heart, my you know, my my math heart rate. So if I'm going to run at my math heart rate, what do I need? I need to have a heart rate monitor, right? Do I need to have a chest drop or a wrist, or can I go with a wrist? Right? It's up to you. I started with just a wrist, and I still have it, and I'm waiting for my Polar H10 to arrive, which is cool. And so when that arrives, I'm going to have that's another tool that I'm going to have, right? Do I have a support system, right? Is my family going to be supportive of my running? Are they going to be able to help me if I need to stay on track and have that motivation and sustain me to kick me out the door, right? Because maybe that's something that I need, right? Because again, I know a lot of runners whose family isn't supportive of them and then they drop off and then they go out for a couple of runs and then before you know it, they're not running. And it's terrible, right? Because they started off with this great goal, but they didn't have the mindset to be able to push through it, right? The other thing is, is uh, self-doubt, right? Actually, I, I'm trying to think if that's on my list. Um, what they thought they wanted wasn't, or what, the, what they thought they wanted uh, isn't turning out to be what they thought, and they don't pivot. So pivoting is very, very important, right? Life throws us all kinds of things our way. And if we can't figure out how to pivot, right? Because I mean, look, when, uh, an example, right? If someone's playing baseball, right? And they throw the pitch, right? To the bottom of the ninth inning, right? There's two outs. This is the last batter, right? They have to approach and they're, and they're up, but the bases are loaded, right? And they're up by four or they're up by three and bases are loaded, how is he going to attack this situation, right? He needs to pivot, right? And in how he thinks and how he's going to, to tackle this situation. The same is true with running, right? We have to be able to adapt, right? To pivot when we need to, when something comes our way. So if we get an injury, we're not going to allow that injury to stop us from running, right? For me, when I ran my 50 miler, right? I allowed myself to kind of go down into this rabbit hole, this dark place, and while I was recovering, because it's part of the process, and I was having a tough time trying to pivot, right, during that time. And so 
I was like that. I was like the pitcher in the bottom of the ninth inning and I wasn't making any changes. And I was, you know, you're throwing the, the ball and boom, the guy knocks it out of the park. Well, guess what? The ultra depression hit and it hit hard. And I didn't have the tools to necessarily cope with it right at the moment. So I had to identify what was happening and then pivot. So that was really cool, right? That's a really cool thing to, to know, all right? Um, their conditioning has been uh, flattened and they don't know how to rebuild it, okay? And what I mean by that is some life, something in life has, has, has hit them hard, like COVID, right? So COVID-19 has hit a number of our running community here on the Plant Powered Runner and it hit them hard. So for them, all of a sudden they're in the mindset, okay, I need to just focus on my family and that's all I can do. And then they forget about themselves to keep themselves healthy and strong. And we start kind of going down that road. And when we do, then we lose track of what our goals and what our dreams were for that year. And when we drop it and we don't sustain it, next thing you know, we're sitting on the sidelines, you know, eating chips out in a, in a bag going, my family's all healthy now, all is good, but what am I doing? I'm sitting on the couch. I didn't look after me. So for me, if I need to look after others or be the best version of myself for my family, I need to make sure that I'm looking after me. And if I'm not, I'm not doing anyone any favors. Sure, in the short term, it may have helped in that situation, but mentally I'm not doing well, right? I'm not, I'm not doing well with my, my physical well-being. And again, the mental side of it really starts to play, right? So for me, that's super, super important um, to be able to look at yourself and say, hey, I'm going to be selfish. I'm going to wake up at really early in the morning just to be able to get my run in. So that way I can support you, my child who has COVID or my wife who has COVID or my grandmother or my father or my father-in-law or mother-in-law, whoever, or if, they, or if they've broken an ankle or they've gotten uh, the flu or whatever it is, or something like a life traumatic event has happened, right? We, we want to be the best version of ourselves to be able to see that the people to recover, but also us as well. So not necessarily sacrificing everything for everybody to end up with nothing, right? And that, that to me is a recipe for failure because I've been down that road as well, right? Uh, new life changes bubbling up um, to shift their priorities. Okay. Again, this is exactly uh, what I was talking about, right? Um, uh, now, here's the, here's something that, that I want to go back on in number four. Maybe I got, I think I got four and five mixed up. I stuck my glasses on. Um, but number four is basically they've lost their confidence, okay, to be able to achieve their goals. And what I mean by that is they've run a marathon and they did terrible. They got injured. They didn't break their PR. They didn't do any of the things that they wanted to do. And then they just quit. And when you quit, then you'll never achieve any of your goals, right? Nothing will ever happen, right? So that happened to me, right? That's what took me out of the game, you know, three, three years ago, three years ago. Yeah, three years ago. That's what took me out. Right, I was so attached to to running and, and getting that PR that I kind of lost track of why I was running it in the first place. It's like I just failed. I'm, I, I just didn't. I didn't meet it. And yeah, I may have said it out on the outside, saying you know all the good things that everybody wanted to hear, but in my head, I was just like, I was numb. I was numb to it. And because I was numb to it and I just didn't care, I just wanted to get home and I just didn't want to run. I was injured. And like I said, it took me out of the game for a good two, two years, two and a half years. And I was in like la la land. I'm like, you know, that's, and then that's kind of what ended up leading me to, to Maffetone training, right? To keep me motivated, to get me going, right? That's why, you know, I mean, honestly, guys, I created this channel to, um, post my adventure on running because I didn't have anyone to keep myself accountable. Um, I had one of my friends who was really, really good, Steve Dawson. He's he rocks. He's an amazing guy. He's run Boston multiple times, um, and the guy's a the guy's stellar. He's a he's a class act guy, and you know we sat down and we had a conversation, and he helped me 
start to think about things a little bit differently. And so when I did that, I'm like, okay, you know what? We all need that somebody. And I didn't, and I didn't really realize it was going to happen on that particular day, right? He was just driving by for work and we ended up in a coffee shop and we were talking, right? So find your person, right? Who can motivate you to inspire you so that you can meet your goals and stay accountable right? Again, this channel started on that premise, right? I just wanted to document my journey. And if others, you know, were struggling, they, you know, who knows, maybe they would find the channel and, you know, they could watch it, right? That was really how this whole began. And now what's happened after 365 days is something that I never, ever would have thought of in my whole entire life, right? I'm now here, way better runner than I was before and i've gotten messages from all of you guys to say you know thank you very much for inspiring me to take up running to get back to running to to get off the couch and run a 5k to whatever it is right and um I, i'm i i'm blown away by that right and so i've used that to keep myself accountable to you guys to make sure that i run for you and in, in essence, keeping myself accountable to my goals and my achievements and things that I want to do, right? So that's how it all kind of happened, right? So when we when we 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 fail to meet our all of our goals because of these things, right? Self doubt, right? We can't we can't do it. As soon as you say I can't do it, your brain shuts off and goes, Yeah, of course you can't, right? It's easier to think negatively, right? Lots of runners. Think negatively, right? Right, and it happens all the time, right? Like, you know, that was a crappy run. I, you know, this is some of the goals that they say, right? I want to have, um, I don't want to have a crappy run. I don't want to eat junk food. I don't want, I don't want, I hate, I don't want. Guess what that gets you? It gets you more of the things that you're saying that you don't want, right? So if you change the narrative, if you change it up and say, hey, I plan on running five kilometers and setting a PB by September of this year, right? Or I plan on finishing the marathon, the Scotiabank marathon by the end of the date, or whatever it is, right? If you set things in a positive environment, I will achieve this goal by this date, right? When you say it out loud in a positive environment, I am eating healthy three times a week by eating a salad and an avocado and a bunch of almonds for lunch, right? That's a positive That's a positive reinforcement when you set it up, right? As opposed to, I don't plan on eating any junk food, right? So be very, 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 very clear in your intentions and write them down. If you don't write down your goal, guess what, guys? It ain't going to happen. I'm telling you, it will not happen. You have to write it down and then put it on the refrigerator with magnets or on a cupboard and stick it there or on your mirror in your bathroom. Because if you don't, if you don't see yourself there, if you don't envision it, it's so much harder to achieve, right? It's so, so difficult. And I've been there, like I'm speaking from experience, like being through this. And I know all of you can achieve your goals if you are set up in a positive environment, right? If you know what your why is, right? If you set these things up, right? You speak positively instead of the negative, right? If you set up your intentions, if you find accountability partners, right? These are things that will help you through the process. And in the process, you may actually help inspiring somebody else of your friends to take up running, right? Because when they see you losing weight, when they see you, you know, running, you know, every single morning, when they see you happy when you're running, right? Because here's the other thing. Too many runners put on a nasty face when they're running, like they're straining. It's like, argh, you know, like they're running like this because they're in so much pain. What does that say to the world? What does that say to other runners? Or, or other people who are maybe thinking about running. Oh my God, look at that guy, man. He's just like, he doesn't look like he's having fun, right? What did we used to do when we were in school? Our teachers used to punish us 
for doing something in gym class and they used to make us run laps, right? As a punishment. Why would you do that? You set a negative environment and that person, who knows, they could have been, you know, the best, you know, college elite athlete. They could have been an Olympian, but you maybe crushed their dreams at such a young age that they didn't know how to cope to overcome that, right? And that's what I mean by number four, right? Number four, right? They lack the confidence because something happened, something pushed them down. And when they got pushed down, they stayed there, right? They didn't get back up. And when you don't get back up, life wins, right? It's not, it's giving you the KO and boom, you're down. Now what, right? You don't have that environment to bring you back up again. So find your people, right? Really important to find your people to keep you motivated, to get you going, to get you out the door, right? These are things that I live by. And I just, I'm so passionate about talking about this, guys. And I just, I, I try to get the message through. And if you can hear the dog next door barking, I just can't help it. <laughs> the other thing is, is control your controllables, right? Look, you can control buying a pair of shoes. You can control your pace. You can control your heart rate, right? But you can't control the weather, right? You can't control um, that. Well, you can control your environment that you're running, right? But again, what the conditions are unlike that in, in that environment, it's it's going to be what it's going to be. If it's windy outside, you're not stopping the wind, right? It's your mindset of how you're going to pivot, right? Remember, we talked about that, how you're going to pivot and how you're going to deal with it. Because if you don't have the tools, it just falls apart. And then we just suffer so bad, right? All right, let me just, again, uh, I got a question here or another question. Hold on. I'm not too sure. More than just a smile. Hey, how are you? Um, happy New Year, Dave. Main reason and motivation to run is a pleasure for my body. My body calls me to run and other factors as weather, day or night, doesn't matter. Awesome. Good for you. Like, that's amazing, right? Who who, who has that um, mindset that nothing's going to stop them, right? I can achieve whatever, right? Like, okay, I'm going to, I have to tell you guys, okay? I have to tell you guys. First off, Happy New Year to everybody that's here, because I know more people have joined as we've gone along. Happy New Year. I'm really thankful and supportive of all of you guys being wonderful, amazing um, folks here. I really, really appreciate it. Um, the other thing I want to say is, look, I went out this morning at one minute. Like, I mean, I was outside the house with my wife and my daughter, and we brought the New Year in together as a family. Then uh, I went out for a walk with my daughter. And when we came back, I decided, oh, my gosh, it is so nice out. I'm actually going to go run. But I only had my, like, like, I had my, like, running jacket on and vest and stuff. But I was wearing a pair of jeans. I had no glide on, just regular jeans and underwear and that kind of jazz, right? No running apparel down there. And I was like, I'm just so excited. I'm so excited. And I got to, and I just started to run. And I was like. I was just going to walk like another, another little bit. And then I just had it in me and it's like, I'm going to run. And I, I ended up running like 11 kilometers and it felt amazing. And I think I only saw like, I don't know, maybe there was one or well, maybe there's like three cars out that I saw the whole time. And while I was running, one of my friends is a police officer in town. And while I was running, I was on like the last probably two kilometers to get home and I'm running along, and then all of a sudden, he kind of pulls up beside me. He goes, Dave, what's going on? I said, I'm running. And he's like, I know, but you're wearing jeans. And I'm like, I know. <laughs> I just felt like running. I felt like Forrest Gump in the movie, right? But I just I just felt awesome. So he drove next to me for like a kilometer while we just talked. And I hadn't seen him for, it's been so long since I've seen him because of this whole COVID thing. And we just and I, he just drove next to me, and we were just talking. And he was telling me about all kinds of crazy stuff that's going on, you know, at work and his life and stuff. And, you know, and I'm sharing my crazy adventures and stuff that I'm dealing with. And uh, we just had a great talk. And this was in the new year. So I got back home and I'm pumped. I'm so excited. And the endorphins are going. And I'm feeling awesome. And I look at my watch and I'm like, oh, my gosh, how am I going to sleep? It's like two o'clock in the morning. It's crazy. Right. Unbelievable. Anyways, it is what it is, man. And I just felt awesome. 
Uh, my nether regions are feeling good. No shaping or anything like that. <laughs> um, and I also have some news. Oh my gosh, I have some news, guys. Holy smokes. Okay, so are you ready for this? Keep your keep your questions coming, guys. Keep your questions coming because I want to share with you. Um, hold on. I need to go. This is cool, guys. You guys are going to be like, what? I mean, some of you are going to really like this. Other Others may not really care. But um, hold on a second. I need to um, hold on. Stay with me. Stay with me. Dashboard. Hold on. Okay, I'm going to share my other screen with you guys here. Where am I? Um, okay, I'm going to get rid of this one because we're done with that one. Okay, and I'm going to go on, and I think, uh, stop screen. Okay, I'm now going to go share screen. I'm going to share my other one here. Uh, Chrome tab. Boom. And I'm going to share. And can you guys see that? <laughs> You guys are the first, all 13 of you are the first to see the Plant Powered Running Podcast. That's right. It's by popular demand, guys. So many of you have asked for this. And I thought, okay, you know, there's a time and a place. And I have a podcast with my running buddy, Sean, and we do Trail, uh, Trail Tales ARP which is super awesome. And, but this kind of thing doesn't kind of fit that platform. So I thought, okay, I'll just create this for you guys, because I know a lot of you want to hear my show when you're on a run. And anyways, so the shows are going to be um, on the podcast, right? It's going to be on Apple um, soon, probably another couple of days before it kind of gets out there. Um, it's on Anchor right now and a, a couple of others, but it's going to be on Spotify, Apple Podcast, kind of everywhere else, right? So that is happening. It's coming. It's going to be there. Oh, I'm excited about this one. It's going to be awesome. So again, just wanted to let you know that that, it, that, is, that is happening. Um, Chris says, Happy New Year from Illinois. Freezing rain right now. Stay warm and safe. Wow, really? Freezing rain? Yikes. I, you know, I, freezing rain sucks, man. Like I, I really, you know, there's certain types of weather I don't really enjoy. And one of them is when it's cold and raining, but it's windy, right? I can deal with the cold and the, and the rain, but when the, out of the wind, oh my gosh, it's unbelievable. Um, and then the other one is freezing rain that man, cause I wear glasses, right? And so I don't have contacts. So when I wear my glasses, like, and I'm running in freezing rain, it actually freezes on my glasses and it sucks because I can't see. Um, so I got to take it off and I can see when I run. That's, that's not a problem. It's just, um, just in the winter time, it's a little bit, I don't know. It's a little challenging. What I'm trying to say is, <laughs> is what it is. Oh my gosh. Stay safe though. Um, that's the love of movement, sport, health, and good stuff. Mike, absolutely. It is. It's so true, right? I mean, what do you guys think? You like the shirt? Happy looks good on you. <laughs> oh, I love I love it. Christmas gifts are, are awesome. Um, I think I got this one for my birthday, though. I got a couple of other shirts this year. Podcasts, yes. Love running with podcasts. That's what Chris says. Yeah, it's, it's awesome. I'm, I'm excited. I mean, it's going to be probably – the podcasts are going to be after the YouTube videos. So it may actually be like a week delay or may even be a little bit longer. It just, there's a lot of moving parts to it, but it's up right now. Um, so yeah, I mean, and again, it'll be just another way to share my thoughts with you guys as, as you run as well. Right. So it's cool. I like it. <laughs> Mike says heading out for a shower. Ren in the rain. Gotta get it. Absolutely, man. Go for it. Have fun doing your run, man. That's awesome. So what else you guys got going on? Um, how, how was your new year? What did you, How did you guys celebrate your new year? Just comment. Let me know. Because that's cool. Because we all celebrate different around the world, right? Um, also, if you guys are liking the podcast, please think about... Um, uh, please think about liking... <laughs> 
can't even speak today. Oh my gosh. Um, so yeah, man, it's, it's awesome. So yeah, we all celebrate different around the world, right? I mean, it was more, if you guys were following me on Instagram, um, and if you haven't, you can find me at, at, uh, the plant powered runner underscore, right? Um, you can find me there or you can just go to the YouTube channel and click on my Instagram link or on this pod or on this video. Um, once it's been posted, you can see in the comments down below all of my links of how you can connect in with me outside of YouTube. Okay. So there's that there as well. And if you guys aren't on discord, um, that's another talking platform. It's also another kind of sharing platform. It's got a kind of community there. We got a bunch of people in there as well. Uh, and it's free and it's super cool. So kind of liking that. So, yeah. So for me, what I did for new year's was we hung out. We didn't do a whole lot. Like we stayed home. Like we watched a movie, played some games, ate some food. It was, it was good. It was a good time just kind of chilling out. Right. Cause I mean, we're not allowed to do anything. We can't go anywhere. So, um, and who knows, maybe that's why I just felt so excited to go for a run because I was inside all day. Right. So who knows? It's, well, it's different, right? We're, we're all different in, in, you know, what we do and how we want to celebrate it and stuff like that. Right. So, and as you can tell, I'm not drinking any coffee. So coffee's out. I'm done. I'm done with coffee. I'm only drinking healthy stuff. So I'm drinking, drinking water. Right. So turning out a new leaf. Right. Uh, Chris says a uh, new year's group trail run. Oh, sweet. With friends, sort of the, with a social distancing and <laughs> face buffs. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you got to do what it is you got to do. Right. And uh, yeah, we're all different. Right. I mean, I had friends of mine, they went out and they did some cross country skiing as a, as a group, obviously cross country skiing, you're far apart, which is, which is perfectly fine with the buffs, but I don't have cross country skis. So I was kind of out. Um, and to be quite honest, I don't even have snowshoes. I used to have snowshoes, but I broke it. I broke mine when I was really, really heavy. Um, I literally destroyed it. Uh, I just weighed so much. So I, yeah, I don't have any. So maybe, maybe, maybe I will pick up um, another pair and uh, maybe I'll get a pair of racers, right? Have you guys ever, have you guys ever um, used any snowshoe racer, racers? That would be, be kind of cool. I know I've seen Seth Demore. He, he actually bought a pair and, um, but I'm not too sure. Uh, I don't know I, how that would feel. I have, honestly have no idea how that would feel. So what else is going on, folks? What's the plan? What are your goals? What are some goals for you guys for the new year? Like, do you want to run a 10K? Do you want to do a, a PR in the marathon? Do you want to, like, tell me, fill me in, man. What's going on? What do you what do you have planned? I'll share some of my mine in my video that's coming out on Sunday. So Sunday, new video is dropping, uh, and it will be all of the goals that I'm going after this year. And I'm Alex, excited to share it with you. Um, I'm, I've kind of shared one little one with you that's on the screen right now, which is the the, the new podcast. So that's a that's a new little goal that's uh, that's kind of popped its head up. <laughs> but yeah, let me know what your goals are. Um, maybe I'll share another one with you. Um, okay, I'll share. Okay, I'll share one. I'll share one more with you. But you guys got to start sharing yours with me because this is a two-way street guys we're, we're all invested in this right so whether it's a 5k whether you're just starting out whether you're just starting math or whether you've been running math for months doesn't matter tell me i'd love to know <laughs> so another one of my goals um is going to be uh i want to set a 5k pr I have not really run a 5K um, other than my Santa race that I did that got me into running in the first place. And that was like six years ago. So I don't know. I honestly don't know what my 5K PR would be. And I know in the summer, I think I, I posted out that I wanted to try it, but it just didn't happen. So that is going to be one of my goals this year. It's okay. Okay, I'm going to share another one. Okay, I'm going to share something else about, about goal setting, right? 
sometimes we set really, really big audacious goals that are so scary that we don't start, right? Like I, I, I can't tell you how many times I've set a big scary goal that it scared me. And then a couple of months goes by and I've lost all motivation. So if my goal, some of you already know that my goal is to run a hundred miler, right? So that's no secret. So if I'm going to go ahead and do this 100 miler, there's a lot of training that I need to do between now and let's say August when I plan on running it. And you're probably saying, why would you run it in August? It's so hot. Well, I want to run it in August because first off, I have the daylight. Number two, I have <clears throat> I have the support that I need. So people will be out there to cheer me on. People will be able to run and pace me. And then if people are hanging around at aid stations or whatever, it's no big deal because it's August and it's warm and it's nice, right? As opposed to October when it possibly could snow and it's only like two degrees and stuff like that, right? So yeah, I'm going to have to deal with a lot of dehydration and stuff like that, but it makes it even better, right? So what I'm trying to say is set, set a big goal, right? Set a big goal, but if that big goal then you have these smaller goals that'll take you along the path to get you to your big goal. You know what I mean, right? So you set yourself up for success instead of setting yourself up for failure. That's the super important message that I'm trying to obviously say here. Um, okay, so what's uh, what's Chris got? Uh, 2021 goals, a couple. <laughs> a couple of ultra marathons. Nice. Which... Um, which ultra marathons do you want to do there, Chris? Kevin, London Marathon in October, but a little frustrated as I've an Achilles injury. Yikes. Oh, yeah, that's right. You were telling me about that. How's it going? Like, what are you doing to uh, to overcome uh, your Achilles? Are you doing like a lot of, um, what do you call it, uh, calf calf raises on the stairs and stuff like that? That worked for me. That's what I was just doing right here. <laughs> um, that's what that's what helped me when I had mine. Uh, I also use uh, a number of essential oils uh, that really, really lemongrass helps a lot. Uh, uh, one called Deep Blue works extremely well. Um, anyways, yeah, those are some things that um, I've done the, in the past that really kind of helped. Uh, Janie. Um, I would love to run a half marathon and you motivate me. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Which um which half marathon would you like to uh would you like to run? Like whereabouts are you located? Lynn. Hi from Germany. I'm planning a six hour run and a 50 kilometer run. Still registered for New York Marathon, but I'll have to wait till 2020. 2022. Nice. That's some good goals. A six hour. That's cool. Those time, those timed runs are extremely challenging, right? Like it really plays with your mind because you're because you're just running for a set, a set time. I mean, yeah, you have a start and you have an end time, which is which is awesome. It's just mentally you're just running. Now, are you going to be doing it on a track or is it uh or is it like through the trails or something like that? 50k yeah let me know about your 50k any particular plan like like where where you want to run that new york marathon that would be that'd be pretty awesome be a lot of people maybe that i mean i'd love to run that to be quite honest be really really cool um kevin heel drops okay good yeah that's exactly what yeah that's exactly what i'm that's exactly what i'm doing that's exactly what I'm doing. Janie, DK. Oh, you don't know, eh? Okay, so here's here's your homework, right? So if races are on where you're located, where are you? Where are you from? Where are you um, looking from? Like, I don't even know how to say that. Like, Anyways, where are you located in the world? Um, because... I mean, every every place is different, right? Whether races are going to be open and when they're going to be open and is it going to be a spring or is it going to be a fall or I don't know. I don't know what races are open where I am. Um, I'm just kind of creating my own uh, currently right now. So just hitting my training grounds, uh, just running when I can, where I can, uh, and just making it happen. Denmark, nice. 
Denmark. I have a friend in Copenhagen. Um, man, it's been years. Um, Oli. Anyways, not that you would know him, but yeah, he's a. Uh, my brother met him in Greece, and uh, I, I was just a little kid at the time. But you know, we've kind of created a friendship over the years, and yeah, he's a he's a cool guy. Cool guy. I'd love to be up in Denmark. That would be awesome. Uh, but maybe Arbus. Oh, okay. Conrad, goal, bring structure to my training. With my H10 belt, I want to use polar free structured 10K or heart rate monitor training. The belt is super accurate. Very cool. Yeah, I heard about that. Um, I've had a couple of people message me about, about that. So yeah, that's very cool. Right on, man. When does it start for you? Have you written it down? Lynn, 50K will be virtual six hour run is a three kilometer loop on flat trail. Oh, hey, that's awesome. Yeah, very, yeah, the whole virtual runs are all kind of still going on, right? So um, six hour run is a three hour loop. Okay, so yeah, so running loops. Do you like running loops? I like, I don't mind running loops. It's a love hate relationship I have with loops. Yes, I like I like them because it's cool. You can actually time yourself like I'm getting faster on each loop that I do. However, I find that it really starts to play with my mind because I feel like I should be going a further distance and all I'm seeing is the same things over and over and over again. Yes, I can see the same people like cheering and stuff like that, but I feel like I'm just not getting anywhere because when I run, I, I feel like I need to go somewhere like i need to see things i need to go on a long run somewhere right even out and backs i don't like out and backs per se but uh, i don't mind the long runs or i don't mind loop if they're longer but if they're shorter it plays with my mind jeff uh, annual goal is to hit uh, 1500 kilometers third attempt would also like to cover the marathon distance at least once, following from the UK. Oh, awesome, man. Right on. Um, yeah, 1,500 kilometers is uh, is no joke, right? I mean, if you haven't gone that distance, it's um, there's a lot of training involved, right? And I remember when I did mine, um, it, was, it was an amazing feeling. I didn't really realize until I looked at Strava to see what my numbers would look like, like at the end of the year. And I think I think I got like 1,700 kilometers. I think that was my first first full year of running. Um, and then the next year, I think I got 2,000 and some odd. And then the following year, I had like 500. Like that's when I kind of went off the cliff. So yeah, it's kind of kind of interesting, right? But um, but yeah, man, you you can go ahead and do it. You can certainly cover the marathon distance. Um, just set up. So write write down your plan, like what you what it is you want to achieve. Put it on a calendar. Just put it so you can see it, right? Whether it's on a your computer screen on a little sticky note, it doesn't matter. Maybe it's your wallpaper on your uh, on your iPhone or on your Android or whatever, right? As long as you can see it, it kind of it, it helps, right? With that, whereabouts in the UK, Jeff? Like that, I love the UK. My uh, my family is from Liverpool. Uh, ben, hey Ben, good to see you, man. Agreed. Virtual races are the way to go. Uh, SA back in lockdown, twenty-one uh, k penciled in in a couple of months. SA, where about at? Where about is SA? <laughs> um, I'm racking my brain. South Africa, that's it. South Africa. That's where you are. <laughs> Awesome. It's what kind of temperature are you dealing with down there? I mean, you guys must be like really hot summer weather right now, right? Uh, Maurice, hope to do a half marathon this summer if COVID goes away. Maybe full marathon. Never did more than 10K race. Wow. You know what? You have some exciting times ahead of you, my friend. You can certainly go the distance, right? There's no doubt about that. Um, have you, like, are you doing heart rate training right now, or are you doing another form of, uh, another form of training right now? 
Yes, Ben, South Africa, 30 degrees. Oh, I remember 30 degrees. It just feels like yesterday, a couple of months ago. Well, not a couple of months ago. It's It's been a little while. It's been, I think, since August we hit uh, the 30s. But um, yeah, now, Ben, are you training by heart rate? Is that what you're doing? Are you doing mafetone training? I think you, I think you, I think you said you are because I commented on one of your comments. <laughs> I replied to you on one of your comments on my video. Um, yeah, so that's cool. Um, I, now, I guess, I guess, I mean, we're like a, a running community from like literally all over the world, right? So we got all kinds of different weather patterns that everyone's running in. Like I'm running in. The nasty snow. Like, I mean, if I turned my, if I turn this around, that's out my window. I don't know if you guys, you guys can see that, right? So that's what I'm dealing with. Oh, there we go. Yeah. So I mean, it's just the roads are icy. So when I went out last night, um, I did all right, but I had to run on like run on the road running on the sidewalks didn't work it was it was kind of slippery because we had we had a huge amount of snow which you've seen in my Santa my Santa Claus run that I did right um crazy amounts of snow and then it kept snowing so on boxing day and then it snowed the next day and then it, it snowed every single day the only day that it hasn't snowed or snowed is today it's the only one I'm like oh my gosh it's like so much snow but what happened was two days ago it um on new year's eve was it yesterday no it was two days ago we it, it started to melt and then it started to rain and then instantaneously overnight boom it froze and then we had this light dusting of snow and so it was like a skating rink it's crazy but i mean i you got to run in whatever it is you got to run in like i said you can't control those things just control where you run which is why i went on the road <laughs> um Ben says, yes, altitude in the hills killing me. Yeah. Yep. I think everybody here could agree with you on that. The hills, you got to walk them, man. You got to walk them. <laughs> You'll get there, though. It's awesome. Good for you. Uh, Jeff, Lincoln, UK, jealous of the U.S. trails. But, man, you guys have awesome trails over in the U.K. as well, right? You've got um, the Lake District, right? There's all kinds in there, isn't there? I mean, you probably have to travel um, uh, to places to get to some of these. Um, I know over in Scotland, there's all kinds of places to go uh, as well. But um, but you guys, like I'm jealous of you guys because you guys have all kinds of cool things out where you are, right? So it's amazing, right? We always want to see other parts of the world. And, and sometimes we kind of forget about the things that we have in our own, right? I'm the same way. Like it's 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 cool. Like there's a man. There's a lot of trails that I would love to run in in the U.S. Because the U.S. man, you guys have like these massive national forests with like awesome distance for trails, right? I mean, the Appalachian Trail. I would love, 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 love to run the full length of the Appalachian Trail. Obviously, not going for a fastest known time, but I just think that would be super awesome to to go ahead and do, right? I mean, a pretty scary goal, but yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, nasty. Nope. Here is gray and soggy. Yeah. Do you guys ever have a tough time on gray, gray days where there's no sunshine and it just seems like you're living in a snow globe? Like, or it's just so dark and dreary and you just, it's, I don't know, like your motivation like literally falls off a cliff. I've had that. It happens to me. <laughs> it happens to me. Um, it is It is kind of frustrating. I'll tell you that. Um, Maurice, what do we got here? Oh, let me take off this. Wait a second. Where are you, Maurice? Oh, there you are. Yes, math. Math training, only about 50K a week. Maybe I should increase. Okay, so yeah. So there's for a number of you guys, um, if you want to see bigger improvements, slowly work up your way to getting in more mileage, right? If you can do a couple of, you know, maybe do a one, hour, like a one, two hour run once a week, right? Or maybe you do two of them, that can really significantly help uh, in your running. But again, you got to work up slowly to these kinds of things, right? But if you can add in more distance, 
I would find like the sweet spot for my distance, I would say probably about probably around 50 miles. 50, 60, well, hold on a second, 50 miles. Well, I, I got I'm trying to use my formula. So 80 kilometers. So 80 kilometers a week it may just be just on that the, the low end. I would say if you can get up to 50 kilometers, sorry, 50 miles, 60 miles. So like 110 kilometers, 120 kilometers. I really started to see some great improvements during that particular time, like a lot better, right? So again, work your way up, right? What else is going on, guys? What's happening? We got some new people joining us here. People are coming, people are going, we're just sitting chatting. Um, when there is no motivation, I listen to the Plant Powered Runner. <laughs> and I go, thanks, man. You get a fist bump and a high five. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> thanks. I appreciate that. <laughs> uh, Jeff says, uh, I fell right. Um, Fell running is our thing. Check out Bob Graham. Yes, yes, the Bob Graham. So there's a gentleman. What is his name? Oh, he was the winner of the Barkley Marathons in the U.S. Um, in 2017. And then he moved to the U.K. God, what was his name? Anyways, he just did... He did the Bob uh, Bob Graham round, um, and he did it. Uh, and he biked, so he did all the runs, and then he biked to each destination. It was like, epic. If I could find it, I'll I'll let you know. Um, yeah, that's that's really awesome. Darren, hello, happy New Year, friends! Absolutely, happy New Year, buddy. How's it going, man? Hope all is well. Whereabouts are you in the world? Chris says, uh, doing 90% math, 10% hard, and around 30 to 35 miles per week. Awesome. Good for you, man. That's that's good. Um, again, if you wanted to see some more results, um, work your way up. I, I Again, if you guys are following, if you guys aren't following me on Strava, you can find me on Strava. You can go to YouTube, hit on the, uh, uh, the banner. You'll have all my connections there or in this video. Once it's uh, once we finish the live stream, it'll be live for you guys at some point. All my contact stuff is in there as well, and you can connect with me that way. Um, I'm on Instagram, all those fun places, right? So, but yeah, I would I would add some more in. You can certainly see some some uh, distant, um, some increases in your in your math results, right? Uh, Darren in the UK, northwest, northwest. Uh, envious of your show. <laughs> Don't be envious, man. Thank you. I appreciate that. I mean, look, I'm just doing this because, again, I, I just needed accountability in my life. And, and you know, I just, I'm now doing what I'm now doing. I'm, I guess I don't, I don't even consider myself a YouTuber. It's just something I like to, to do. And I like to give back to the running community because the running community has given so much to me. I just want to share, right? I just want to share what I know. And uh, like, I'm a, I'm not an elite, I'm not an elite athlete. I'm far from it. I'm a real estate agent for crying out loud. <laughs> I'm a real estate agent who loves to run, who loves to inspire and motivate and teach people um, that they don't need to settle for a second best, right? They don't need to settle for where they are in their life, right? I mean, if I never did anything in my life, like if, here's the thing, if I ever, if I let my circumstances, right? Um, here, let me go back and let me just share this because some of you guys have kind of popped on. Um, some of you guys have popped on after I already spoke about this, but I just wanted to bring something to uh, people's attention, right? Because I think it's important, right? Um, okay, so one of the things that was important, right, in this list of things why people fail to meet their goals is number four their confidence has been flattened and they don't know how to rebuild it. My confidence as a child was shattered, right? It was shattered. I got called stupid by my principal. My teachers pretty much gave up on me. 
like all these things, like a lot of negativity, I got, you know, bullied and stuff like that. And I let it define me for a while, but I found running and I took, I took up running because I got bullied. <laughs> right. So it took me a little bit to take the negative and turn it into a positive and then take that and pivot right? There's that pivot thing again. I did it when I was a kid. I didn't know it was, but I just didn't like being picked on and I needed to, an outlet. I needed to get away from it all. And the only place that I could find it was when I ran. And the more that I ran, the faster I got, the faster I got, nobody could keep up with me anymore and the bullies disappeared, <laughs> right? Um, I became the fast guy. And then people, um, I associated me, associated me with running you know, cross country and I started to run cross country and I got really good at it and I started to win and I came first, I came in, came first, second and third on three and then a couple of ribbons here and there. This was all like in like junior school, like how old was I? 10, 11, 12, stuff like that. Um, so yeah, so I mean, I could have let, I could have left it, I could have let it keep me down but I didn't. I actually got up again and then I got knocked down and then I got up again and I got knocked down and the cycle kept repeating, but I never gave up because I didn't want to be bullied. So I'm like, I'm done. I'm done with this. So I confronted it. I used it. I harnessed it and I turned it into a positive and right. And it allowed me to do all kinds of things. And, you know, even in work life, right. You know, I would struggle. People would call me out on my grammar and stuff like that. And I'm like, you know what, this doesn't define me anymore. I don't care. Right. I don't care. You may be a wordsmith. You may be the best person in school. You may have gone to university and, you know, got like academic A's all over the place. I don't care. I'm living my life. Right. And if you don't like it, then don't like it. Don't follow me. Like you don't need to beat me down. Right. I already have a hard enough time when I do these posts that, you know, there's, um, you know, typos and stuff in it, but I don't care. I do it. I do it anyways. And I don't let it stop me and define me anymore. Right. I just move forward with it. Yeah. I make corrections when I need to make corrections and that's fine. I don't let it affect me. So again, the reason I came to that, you know, is that whole confidence of being flattened. Don't let it, don't let it suck out your, your, you, what you're looking for in, in life, right? And, and whether it's running or whether it's in life, just don't let anybody crush your dream because your dreams and your goals are yours. Don't ever let anybody have the, um, don't ever let anyone steal it away from you because if you do, you've given them permission, right? You've given them permission to do so. You need to protect all of your goals and your dreams in running and in life and in work and whatever it is. And you need to hold on to it. You need to believe in it. And you need to follow through with it, right? Because only you can do that, right? And I have to learn this the hard way. And I just never want anyone to have to go through what I went through because it sucked. But maybe people do. Maybe people have to go through that. Maybe people have to experience that and somehow come out of it the other end. Maybe it's their life journey that they need to experience. I don't know. I just try to help people however I can. And that's, it's just me. It's just who I am, right? I, it's, I, it is what it is. <laughs> so um, anyways, um, okay, Darren, you're doing better than I am. I intended to do a YouTube thing, but I was doing, but I was doing math last June to September, then fell off the wagon. Need to get back to it. Absolutely, man. You got it. You got it. Make it happen. I know you can. All you guys can meet, meet your goals, right? Just make sure that you follow through, right? Uh, FYI, John Kelly won by, thank you, man. That was in my head. I was trying to remember and I was like, oh my gosh, John Kelly. Yes, that guy's crazy, man. Unbelievable. The guy is a badass, that's for sure. I would love to run with the guy one day. That would be kind of cool. Uh, positive feedback loop. Good stuff. Yeah, absolutely, Darren. That's what it's all about, man. That's what it's all about. Uh, and I, for one, are grateful that you still do it. Oh, thanks, man. Hey, I, I, I'm just doing what I do, right? I'm doing what I do. I love what I do. And again, we, that's what we're here. That's what we're here to do, right, on this planet. Let's inspire people. Let's get people to live a better life, right? Get them out of poverty. Get them out of 
where they are, you know? Have you guys ever had like a really, really crappy boss who like bullied everybody and then karma bit them really, really hard? I know people like that, right? I know people who, you know, who treated people awfully and then they ended up, you know, it happening to them, right? And then they go, well, you know, how did this happen? It's like, treat people badly. It's going to happen to you. It always happens, right? So as runners, we need to be kind, caring, supportive people to help other people overcome all of their challenges that they go through, right? If someone asks a question that may, that is like, you think that they, you know, you should know what that answer is. Don't live, you don't know that where they're coming from in their life, right? No, no question is stupid. Every question should be answered and it needs to be answered more than once. And sometimes people need help. And the other thing I've learned, don't judge. Don't judge others. Judging doesn't help anybody in our running, right? In our sport. We need to make sure that we can help when we can, right? That's just, I don't know. That's just me, right? I don't know if you guys experience these things, but. You know, I just want things to be good in the world. Your story, so Ben says, your story resonates with me on so many levels. Started running for mental health. Good for you, man. Hey, we got to do what it is that we got to do. We have to put ourselves first. Because once we put ourselves first, we can support everybody else. Because if not, how are we going to be able to help anybody, right? And here's the thing, right? The teacher only appears when the student is ready right? So never force your, your opinions, your judgments, or anything on anybody, right? You want to help, right? And so what you can do is you can always lead from a giving hand about experiences that you've gone through, right? And that's one thing that I've always done is, you know, how do I, how do I help somebody when they don't want the help? So in conversation, I would kind of, you know, drop certain things in the conversation to say, hey, you know, let me tell you a story, right? You know, when I was, you know, five years old or when I was 20 years old or when I was whatever, and I was doing this, this is what happened, right? Hopefully, you know, that can, you know, somebody can learn from my experience. That's kind of how I drop it into people when they're so blocked and they don't want the help. It's just one of the things that I've, that I've gone ahead and I've, I've done. Hey guys, fasting Fred, how's it going, buddy? <laughs> Katie's not here today. Sorry. She says hi though. <laughs> she laughed when uh, she saw your Instagram or when you commented on my Instagram the other day. <laughs> oh, man. How's it going, Fred? How's it going? Fill me in, man. Maurice, has COVID restrictions affected your running? Uh, limited to 5K from home here. No way. No, we we can go out and run as far as we want. Like, I'm north of the city, so I'm not in that environment Maybe there is some things about if you live down in Toronto, but again, I'm north of Toronto right now. Um, but I can go out and I can run as far as I want. I just have to make sure that we social distance. Um, uh, no stores are open. Like everything's curbside pickup. Uh, you can't really go in anywhere. Uh, there are some big box stores that are open, like Costco and things like that, but you got to keep like big distances away. Uh, but a lot of the smaller stores, um, they're all curbside because they're small stores and you can't really go in. So if you know what you want, you can call ahead. They could pick it out um, and then put it, you know, pick it up on the curbside. What we are finding is we're finding that people can actually go ahead and do deliveries of groceries. We're getting grocery deliveries now. We're also having, uh, you can order groceries online at the grocery store and then when you get to the store, you can alert them to let them know that you're there from an app in the car, and then they'll come out and put it right into your trunk, and you don't ha even have to see the people. It's like really, really awesome. And I think this is this may be around for a while, like this kind of service. I think it's awesome, to be quite honest. And if they charged an extra couple of dollars for it, I'd probably pay for it because, I mean, why not? I have it delivered right into right into your car. I don't have to go in the grocery store. That's like so efficient in terms of time, right? So it'd be really cool for, for, for people who have families, young kids, right? Can you imagine, you know, your, your child falls asleep in the car and then you got to wake them up and go in the grocery shop. I mean, this is all done. You can just pull up, they load up the, 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 the trunk of the car and away you go. It'd be awesome. 
So yeah, it was a lot of a lot of things are kind of happening. Uh, but yeah, we can run far, like from from home, right? Um, AJ, happy New Year! Happy New Year, buddy! All the way from India. Wow, that's awesome. We are we are like all over the world right now. This is crazy. I got to figure out like the best times to live stream for everybody because everyone's all over the place. And I already started doing two o'clock um, because you know people said two o'clock would be a good time, right? So if there's a different time that you guys want me to to do a live stream, you gotta let me know uh, in the comments. Let me know. Comment <laughs> when would be a great cake. This is what I want. You, there's 20 of you here right now. If you can do me a favor, this would help. If you, each and every one of you, all 20 of you, wrote down where you're from and what time a podcast, like what time the podcast, or not podcast, why am I thinking podcast? What time a live stream would you be able to tune in? That would be awesome. It would be help. It would help me know when when the best time to, to, to do it would be. Uh, Fred is doing doing great. Had a foggy and frosty run on New Year's Eve. It gave me draft hair. <laughs> yeah, I get I get draft hair. I, except at least I have hair still. Like I'm I'm losing mine. It's a little lighter up top. <laughs> but yeah, absolutely. That's good, man. Have you gone for a run um, today at all? Ben, you should reach out to Flores Gearman to spread the message. He's interviewed Phil Maffetone many times. I'm doing uh, his five kilometer to 21 program. Oh, that's awesome, man. Yeah, I've actually reached out to Flores. Um, we've actually messaged uh, back and forth a couple of times. So maybe in the new year, maybe, maybe sometime, you know, maybe you can recommend. <laughs> may, do me a favor. If you want me on his show, recommend me. Say, hey, I want you to connect with this guy and interview him. No better way, right? If it comes from somebody other than me, who knows? <laughs> um, of course, I've been out today. Yes. Awesome. Awesome. Going for the goals, man. How far did you go today? AJ, are you doing strength training? Um, did you get uh, any ankle swelling during training? What's your diet during the winter now? Okay. Um, I am... Starting back on my strength training, that is happening. That that is happening, right? I'm gonna be. I get, once I get off the once I get off the live stream, I'll be doing that for sure. Um, did you get an ankle swelling during training? No, no, I no, no, nothing to do with that. Um, what I did get when I when I was running last February, I think I was going for four months. Was it October, November, December, January? Yeah, after about four or five months, I had something going on in my glute, my piriformis. Uh, basically, it was a pain, pain in the ass. <laughs> really what it was. Um, in the one glute, uh, but I had to work on that, and it got better. No problems now. It, it, it kind of worked its way through. And some of the videos. Um, now, here's a, here's a question. If, <clears throat> have any of you guys watched my videos to the very, very, very end when I'm doing, like, my outro? when I'm running down the road because I got a limp because my butt was sore when I was filming that and it's been there the whole time. So when I ran, you guys would see that. So kind of doing a little bit of a, ah, uh, doesn't feel so good. But anyways, it's been in there the whole time. But yeah, I'm feeling good that way. Uh, and what's your diet during the winter now? Diet really doesn't change. I mean, Honestly, guys, my diet's been awful since my for the last two months. It's been not great. Um, coming off of my ultra, I really wasn't prepared for what I was about to uh, endeavor, like what, I, what was going to hit me. And uh, I just kind of went to some bad places and I started comfort food eating. And then it, it just kind of kept going. And then New Year's Eve came and it just so today um, I haven't I actually haven't eaten yet. It's like 243. Um, and I haven't eaten yet. So fasting, Fred, dinner soon. <laughs> um, but basically a lot of salads, right? A lot of chickpeas, beans, um, cauliflower, asparagus, broccoli, um, nuts and seeds, like, nut, like you know, uh, peanut butter and almond butter. <sighs> I'm just trying to think. Um, you know, I throw in some corn products. So all you Brits out there, Yes, I, I do have 
uh, the corn product with a Q, even though I'm sounding it like corn. It's not corn, it's corn, I think. Anyways, great product. Um, the Impossible Meat, um, I've had that. Uh, the Beyond Burgers, right, had that. Um, yeah, so I mean, you know, just lots of salads, right? It's a lot of spinach, right? Stuff like that. Uh, you know, nutritional yeast, right? Just make sure, you know, B12, stuff like that. Uh, uh, Conrad, hopefully that answers your question. Uh, Conrad, uh, 2 p.m. is fine, okay, equals 8 p.m. Germany. Okay. All right. That's good. That's good. Okay. That's good to know. What do we got? Five miles all in at math. Okay. Fist bump. High five. Nice, man. Good for you. Jenny, uh, 2 p.m. is a great time. 8 p.m. in Denmark. Oh, awesome. Okay, cool. Cool, cool. Uh, Chris, Illinois, USA. Noon is best for live cast but your current time is fine. Okay, cool. Okay, awesome. Thank you. Uh, Fred, my goal this year is to eat an extra portion of vegetables with each main meal. Fist bump, high five. Nice, guys. Nice. I'm liking this. This is good, man. This is good. I need to have like a cowbell, right? A sound of like a, a, a cow. Like anytime that, you know, we've got some awesome comments or stuff, I should just like, or... Either that, okay, let me ask, okay, I need to ask you guys a question. In the comments, in the section, because I don't see this, right? In the section in the section at the bottom, there's a little thing, like a little dollar sign. Tell me if you see it, please. Tell me if you see it. You don't need to donate if you don't feel like it, but that's known as a donate or a tip jar, right? If you're liking it, and it shows up as known as a super chat. So it's a new thing that that the channel has allowed me to do. Um, and it's there. So if you feel like throwing some extra coin, um, that's the way to do it, right? So awesome. Thanks, Connor. It's good to know because I just set it up. I didn't know if it was there. It's uh, it's it's something I, I, I don't even like. I kind of feel like, I don't know. It just feels weird even asking people for that kind of stuff. And I, I'm not. Anyway, so I'm going to stop talking about it because anyways, it is what it is. But if you feel like it, because what, what I plan on doing is I'm trying to change what I do here, right? Because I want to up my game. There's a lot of gear that I need to buy to be able to, to improve on the channel. And so what I would do is any funds that I get from, from any, of, any of you guys, I would use that to purchase gear, right? So whether it's gear review or better lighting or whatever it is, that's where it would go to, just so you know. Okay. Um, anyways, I feel really creepy talking about it. So I'm going to stop right now. Um, what do we got here? Uh, Conrad. Yes. Awesome. All right. I see it. I see it. Um, I see the dollar sign. Okay, cool. Yeah, Jeff. Awesome. Okay. Thanks. Okay, cool. At least I know that it's there. Uh, because I know as what happens is as channels grow and there's more and more people who are on podcasts, it starts to get busier and people's comments start to get lost. Um, and this is one way that it helps you kind of stand out. Um, and there'll be another thing that you can get. Um, I'm also going to have like badges. That's another thing that we're going to be allowed to have. So I'm just trying to find some cool badges that we can have. So I'm trying to come up with like a get out and run badge that you guys can have. Some um custom emojis that you guys can have that you guys can put in the in your comments and stuff right kind of like stand out I think it would be kind of cool so these are some things but I'm thinking about getting one that's like get out and run one little emoji that's got that um and maybe you know uh live in gratitude right uh, just some of the different things I, I talk about on the on the channel that would be kind of neat uh, I'm just trying to, I'm trying to up my game I'm trying to make it better just trying to do some cool things, right? That's, and, and whatever it is you guys look for, right? Like, again, this isn't just a one person thing. This is a community. This is all of us, right? This is, this is what it's about, right? So just want it to be fun for, for all of us here. Uh, AJ, it's here. Okay, cool. All right. So it's worldwide. It's, it's there for everybody. Okay. So that's good to know. All right. I'm done talking about that. <laughs> again, I just kind of feel, it's kind of feels weird. 
Um, so yeah, so running goals, um, I kind of, yeah, I kind of, we talked about all of that in terms of, of how it all looks out for the year. Um, oh, Fred's got a question here. Here's the thing. You say it all the time. <laughs> yeah, I guess, <laughs> I guess. I don't want to say it all the time, but I guess that's what YouTubers do, right? That's because, I mean, it starts going into like, you know, they want to do it as a, a full-time, full-time gig, right? Um, I know that uh, Kafuzi, he's actually doing it full-time. Uh, Damore, he's been doing it full-time. Uh, Sage, obviously, and and uh, Ginger Runner. And, you know, there's a couple of people out there, they're doing it full-time, right? And and it's not easy. Like putting out the video content day after day after day and, and just coming up with, with, the time to do it for me my challenge now is that my daylight is so short that trying to find the time in my work day to get some video shots in and then edit in the evening it's um yeah i mean it's tough like it's it's not an easy it's not an easy thing to to put all this together and there's a lot of work that goes into it and i didn't know i had no idea like here's one thing i didn't know so when i did my year in review. I don't know. Have any of you guys seen my year in review from yesterday? If you haven't, have a look. Let me know. I'd love to know what you think. Uh, comment, like it, share it. If you guys do, oh my gosh, it means a lot. The more that you guys share my content out on social media, it means huge things for the for for the channel. It really means a lot, um, and just gets out to more and more people because Google goes, oh, okay, this is a cool video. I need to serve it out to more people. So the more that you like it, comment share uh, it really helps um so i think i just lost my train of thought man anyways if anyone can let me know what i was talking about that would be cool <laughs> um cool badge though yeah yeah absolutely i would love i'd love to get badges going um, i'm researching right now and i'm researching for gear because i want some good no I, not gear I'm researching for hoodies and shirts and tech shirts and buffs and mugs and water bottles. Like I, I'm searching and I'm, I'm researching guys because I want good quality. I don't want just cheap garbage, right? I want, if you guys want um, like merchandise, then yeah, then I'm working on it. I'm trying to figure out, you know, the best place to get some of this stuff, right? So um, Maria. Happy New Year, everyone. My goal is to run 30-mile ultra. I'm 60, started running three months ago. No improvements at all. Can't run more than five miles at a time. So decided to start math. Fist bump, high five. Nice. Good for you. Awesome. It's it's nice when you, when you find something and you're like, you know what? I want to take this and I want to go forward and, and I want to use this to get me to the next level, to help me improve, and to put all your eggs in one basket and have the faith to know and the dedication that it's going to take and it's going to pay off, right? That's what it was like for me. I just did the Hail Mary and said, I'm doing it, and this is what's going to happen. So, yeah, absolutely. I, I get it. I know it's I know it's a challenge. I know it's hard. But, uh, yeah, you can do it, absolutely. If you have any questions, comment um comment below let me know I, I can answer them for you uh anyone in our our community here right you got a bunch of people right now that are live uh you can ask your question if you if you've got any uh, no problems whatsoever we're here to help and um if you haven't seen any of my other videos i'm not too sure how long you guys have been around check them out right uh the playlists may help you kind of go through all the different categories in terms of uh in terms of all of it right so use the categories they can help um, you find what it is you need. Or uh, what you can do, guys, is in YouTube, once you're on my channel, there's a little kind of magnifying glass. That they, uh, it's kind of off to the right a little bit. And if you click on that, you can actually type in and you can search all the videos in the channel. So that may help you help find what it is that you're looking for. Maurice, do you stretch... Uh, before, after runs, how do you deal with um, aches and pains? Um, typically, what I do is um, I do a little bit of a, a warm-up, right? So I'll walk, right, really, really fast as a warm-up to, to settle my heart rate. Do that for about 15 minutes. And then I'll uh, do some dynamic stretching. 
Uh, in my one of my videos, I think I showed some, what's, what I did on some of those. Go back to August when I was doing some track workout. I think it's called like leveling up or something like that. You may see some of them in there. I'll do a video, but basically I do dynamic stretching. So like leg swings, I don't know if you guys, but I don't know, leg swings, frontwards, backwards, sideways, right? Um, I don't really, really stretch, stretch. Um, I do maybe just kind of just to limber up a little bit, right? Like butt kicks, high knees, right? Things like that. Um, that helps. But, um, and then when I deal with aches and pains, I deal, um, I stretch afterwards, right? I do stretch after. Um, and then I do, um, I do yoga, right? I just started uh, that again. Um, that's helped. I also use uh, essential oils on my, you know, wherever I'm eight, where I'm aching. Uh, Deep blue is really good. Um, and maybe I'll do a video on that and I'll show you what it is that I'm using because it's really helpful. Kwaso, hopefully I didn't butcher your name. So sorry, I'm not great with I'm not great with names. Uh, pronunciations are really hard for me, but K. Uh, Happy New Year, David. Just got back from my first MAF training uh, in 2021. Did an hour. Ha! Ah, awesome. Fist bump. High five. Nice. Good. So happy to hear that. How did it go? How do you feel? Fasting Fred. Hey, Dave. Been carrying these scraps of paper on my runs. Uh, it just says Mafetone method. I gave one to a runner yesterday. Nice. That's awesome. Helpful, right? Anything helps. Hey, you know what you could do if you're, if you're handing them out? Just put down below, look up the plant powered runner. <laughs> that would be kind of a cool thing to do. I had a friend of mine that uh, was going to make business cards for me and said, I'll just going to hand out business cards as I run. I'm like, oh, that's kind of a cool thing. But I haven't done it. But yeah, that's kind of neat. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's, I don't know, it's, it's, it's cool. This whole, this whole running gig is a really cool thing to, to stay healthy, to stay strong, uh, and to push through, right? All the things and self doubt that we've had, like it's been an amazing, amazing year, uh, with all of my running. Right. And like for you guys, I mean, it's probably, I don't know, like you guys are probably having your own crazy, um, experiments as well. Right. Uh, where are we here? Hold on. Oh, there you go. Cheeky. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> um, in a good way. <laughs> yep. Uh, sounds like a cult. <laughs> the cult of math. <laughs> Actually, as Phil Maffetone says, it's not math, it's M-A-F. It's your MAF training, not math, MAF training. So I'm just going to start saying MAF training because that's what he says. So I'm just going to stay with MAF training. <laughs> oh, my goodness me, man. Hey, how is Ireland doing? How is Ashling doing from Ireland? Fill us in. What's the weather like? Is it is, is it rainy, cloudy, sunny? What do you got going on? Is it cold? Did you get out for your run? I think you did. Wait, did you get out for your run? Oh, no, that was Kay. I think she got in for her run. Let me know. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's good. So, yeah, I have I think I was the first one to go for my run. I was out at, like I said, 12, 12.20 a.m. this morning. That's when I did my run in jeans. So for all of you who are just maybe tuning in, yes, I ran in a pair of denim jeans. It wasn't planned. It just kind of happened. Um, unbelievable. Probably one of my, I don't know, most enjoyable runs I've had in the last little while. So not only do I run in a Santa Claus costume, but now I'm running in my denim jeans. <laughs> maybe I'll do, maybe I'll, maybe I'll do a video on on how to run with denim jeans. <laughs> no excuse, no excuse. You can get out and you can do the work, right? It's the thing. Get out, do the work, make it happen. Um, and that's just what it comes down to, right? Just making it happen. Uh, just, I don't know, it's kind of crazy. <laughs> what do we got? Maurice, better not uh, stretch before sports. Stretching does the opposite to muscles preparing for action. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, that's a good point, Michael. I should uh, mention that. So 
stretching muscles. If you, if you do like static stretching, like, you know, whole like bending down and touching your toes and stretching for a long time and stretching like all these static stretches, you can do some damage if you then go out for a run. Um, I did the mistake years ago doing that. So that's why I do a lot of these dynamic movement stretches. It's not really a stretch. It's just a, it's just a movement per se. So that's what's worked um, for me. Uh, I feel wonderful. I did it. Good for you. Absolutely. And, and you know what? And so you should feel good, right? Because you're getting out there and you're doing it for yourself, right? And when you do it for yourself, I mean, oh my gosh, there's no better feeling. Now, where are you? Where are you um, from in the world? I'd like to know, uh, Ashley. What's she saying? In lockdown again, so I can't go further than five k from house. No way. So you guys have like distance restrictions of how far you can go. Man, that, oh man, I feel for you guys. I live in a small rural town, so just running around the streets, I think the neighbors think I'm mad. <laughs> <laughs> I think most neighbors think I am mad and the rest of us are mad because I've run by people's houses at different times of the day and they're like, every time I see you, you're running. I'm like, no, not all the time because there's times I haven't seen you. <laughs> I said, why don't you come run with me next time? And they're like, no, I can't run. I'm like, oh, okay, you can't run? Oh, okay. And I, and I would run. And then the next time I would see them, they'd be like, why would you say that I can't run? I said, well, that's what you told me. They're like, well, maybe I will go run with you. <laughs> why not? <laughs> Call people out sometimes. <laughs> but do it in a nice way, right? <laughs> um, I know. It's crazy times, right? Crazy times. I just, I, I hope all you guys are doing well and you're not dealing with too much of this. I mean, have you guys been affected with the lockdown with work? Like, how are you guys managing with that? That was a question that I had because I'm an essential worker in real estate and I actually have to show houses to people, um, list houses for sale. We have all these COVID restrictions and how we handle all of that. Uh, paperwork that needs to be signed, showing instructions, gloves, masks, hand sanitizers. Uh, sometimes our clients want us to be there for showings. So all of that kind of stuff um, happens. But um, yeah, let me know what you guys are going through in terms of like for your work and stuff. I mean, because that would be a, a challenge for sure if you're living in a small rural town. Uh, Michael, fun fact. Uh, in my language in Dutch, math means weird. I get funny faces when I tell people I do math. <laughs> yeah, that would be interesting. I do weird running. Maybe we should call it that from now on. Let's do weird running together. <laughs> Maybe just say MAF. It's MAF. It's not math. It's MAF. M dot A dot F. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, I often do a 30-meter sprints. Uh, the curtains go twitching. <laughs> I told one of them, uh, have you seen a burglar in high vis and running up and down? <laughs> That's awesome. Oh man, that is so cool. You know, it's it's crazy, man. It's crazy, but it's the only way that I can keep my sanity, right? Like for me, sanity is huge. Like I just got to do it. I just have to run because if I'm not, I'm going to start crying. <laughs> so just like I always say, get out and run. Oh my goodness, guys, where's the time gone? Holy smokes. We are like an hour and 28 minutes and we're still going. So whew, crazy times. So in a minute and a half, I'm going to go. <laughs> so if you've got any last minute questions that you want to uh, talk about, message me, comment. Um, keep doing what you're doing, guys. You're supporting me in the channel. It means a lot. I appreciate all of you guys. Um, and I'm going to keep uh, bringing some good quality content. Now, Sunday morning, a uh, new video is dropping. Um, at, I think it's going to be 8 o'clock in the morning. Yes, Eastern Standard Time. And if you are if you want to follow me, you can follow me on all of my social media platforms. You can find it when this video is posted or in yesterday's video. There, All my links are in there. That's how you can find me. Uh, Strava, Instagram, Discord, uh, Twitter. 
uh, I also have, just so you all know, I have a Facebook, sorry, I have a Facebook plant powered running group. Okay. So the group, I will, the link is in here as well. You can click on that and you can go to this private group that we have on Facebook. Um, and uh, again, keeping the action going on over there, a lot more interaction that I want to have with the community. And that's one of the places that it's going to be. So if you haven't gone and you haven't requested that you be part of the group, certainly do so. Again, you can find that in yesterday's video in the comments section below. Um, and, and you can see it in this, or you can just Google it or in Facebook it, <laughs> you can find it. Um, or you can go ahead and click on the banner in my uh, in the YouTube channel. That'll take you to the Facebook uh, Plant Powered Running group. So it's there as well. So there's multiple ways to find it, guys. Like it's all, it's all good. Um, Conrad says, thanks to COVID, we now have to work, uh, sorry, we have to work front home established, unthinkable before. Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's crazy. The things that we have to do now, right? Uh, from home, um, on running goals, don't forget to enjoy the journey. Fist bump, high five, Michael. Absolutely. For sure, man. You cannot not forget about how much fun it is, right? Enjoy the journey. Enjoy the process, right? And this is what it's all about, guys. So like I always say, guys, and let's say it again. Say it with me. You know what's coming. Like I always say, get out and run. We'll see you Sunday. Bye.